Donald Trump sat down with Lex Friedman and addressed what was really going on with Epstein, the releasing of those files, JFK, and much more. All right. This is an interesting conversation to say the least. Let's check this out. This is Lex Friedman. I like Lex Friedman. I felt like this was overall a good conversation. A million views in six hours. Props to him. And props to Trump just being willing to sit down with podcasters and go long. Uh, I'm assuming they're not getting these questions yeah. ahead of time, you know? I heard he rehired his original campaign manager Okay, that got him to win the first election. Hmm. And then after he did that is when he started appearing on like the Theo Vaughn podcast, not just like Aiden Ross and stuff like it's that. A great, it's a great strategy, man, yeah. because... I think as they're going more corporate media, yeah. right, that side, he's going, this is more, in my opinion, this might be a better strategy. I don't know. Oh, yeah, boots on the ground. I don't know what has more sway in yeah. terms of getting voters to, to pull. Um, Fair enough. But it's on brand for him, which is yeah. like, let's touch real Americans. All right. <laughs> let's jump into this Donald Trump, All right. Lex Friedman bit. This is interesting. Go ahead. A lot of people are very interested in the footage of UFOs. The, the Pentagon has released a few uh, videos and uh, there's been anecdotal reports from fighter pilots. So a lot of people want to know, will you help push the Pentagon to release more footage, which a lot of people claim is available? Mm. Oh. This is a filler question to get to the Epstein one, but it would be too harsh to go right into the Just Epstein Just go right into the, the Epstein Freeman's one. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's okay. good. I would do that. I'd love to do that. I'd love to do that. I have to do that. <laughs> I have to. Uh, but they also are pushing me on Kennedy. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. I did release a lot, but yeah. I had people come to me and beg me not to do it. But I'll be doing that very early on. Hold on, pause it. They asked him not to release a lot. What on Kennedy? Mm -hmm. That's for real. This deep state, man. I Whoa. mean, if it's not for real, it just makes him look good, and he knows that. <laughs> so, but it sounds like he's saying the first time around he did try to release stuff, and they wouldn't let him, or they didn't want him to. On yeah, Kennedy. and maybe he scaled back how much he was releasing to make them a little bit like kind of compromise. <laughs> That's scary, man. Uh, yeah, no, but I would do that. There's a moment where you had some hesitation about Epstein releasing some of the documents on Epstein. Why the hesitation? I don't think I had, I mean, I'm not involved. I never went to his island, fortunately. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> this man, this man started looking around. I, I've never, I'm not involved. Just so you know, I know the media said my name was in the daggone thing, but it just said that I knew somebody that went to the thing. I never went to the island. Fortunately. Fortunately. <laughs> a lot wow. of people did. Why do you think so many smart, powerful people allowed him to get so close? That's a great question. He was a good salesman. He was, you know, was a hale and hearty type of guy. He had some nice assets that he'd throw around, like islands. But a lot of big... <laughs> Hold on, what? He had some nice assets he'd throw around. <laughs> that could go both ways. <laughs> he had some nice assets to throw around? Who says like that? islands? Who uses them? Like who says? <laughs> I've never heard that sentence used like that. But maybe that's just a different tax bracket, you know? <laughs> like oh, I got a I got a private jet I kind of throw around. I got some assets I throw around. I'm like, all right, cool. People went to that island, but fortunately, I was not one of them. It's just very strange for a lot of people that uh, the list of clients that went to the island has not been made public. Mm. Yeah, it's it's very interesting, isn't it? Probably will be, by the way. So if you're able to, you'll be... Yeah, I'd certainly take a look at it. Now, Kennedy's interesting because it's so many years ago. You know, they do that for danger, too, because, you know, it endangers certain people, et cetera, et cetera. So Kennedy uh, is very different from the Epstein thing. But, yeah, I'd be inclined to do the Epstein. I'd have no problem with it. That's great to hear. He's like, that was great. To hear. That was great, man. Yeah. So he's going to release a list. Although... I'm all for it. Lex Friedman kind of um, coerced that that promise out of them. Yeah. And a coerced promise is never really mm -hmm. a, a guaranteed promise. No, it's, no, it's not. You know? No, it's That's not. kind of like, a, yeah, yeah. It's like, how you doing, man? We should totally hang out. Yes, we should hang out. You know what? <laughs> what you doing this weekend? You text me. And then you just leave and you never hang out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, you know, I, there's a, there was a lot of folks on those, that jet with him. I don't know how many folks went to the island. Right? I don't know how many folks went to the island. There's a lot of yeah. folks on that jet with him. The original Mr. Beast Island. Whoa! Whoa! What? Whoa. <laughs> you watch too many Dog Pack 404 videos. <laughs> Dang. <Yeah. laughs> Bro. <laughs> you an island boy, huh? <laughs> wow. Man. Man. Wow. Dog Pack 404. Huge fan. Big fan. Big fan. 
Great content. Love his content. <laughs> I always get told him that my Trump impression is really bad. It's okay. It's always just so fun to try, you know. I'm curious if he's actually going to put this stuff out. Do you think he's going to put it out? And he could like come. The occupied to like. Yeah. I, you know. That, why is it taking so long to put the Kennedy stuff out? Yeah. This is, I, it was our president. I feel like if it's this hard to put the Kennedy stuff out, the Epstein stuff is not going out. I don't feel like a, uh, I don't feel like a, you know, a coerced promise is going to be a real promise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I it would be cool, but both parties work together to do one mission. Trump knows too many people. It doesn't <laughs> serve him. He's not putting it out. Protect the money. So honestly, that's. If I'm gonna be honest, the conspiracy part of my brain, tinfoil hat part says he's too he, connected. He's too connected. He's mm. got he's got some friends on the list. Mm. He doesn't talk to them anymore. Mm. He's like, oh yeah. If we're gonna be charitable, y'all nasty. Mm. I'm not talking to you anymore. Mm. But I'm in politics, so I can politic a little bit. And I'm not gonna put this out to protect certain things we got moving. Protect certain things he got going. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's another part of this conversation where. He starts talking about more mortality and religion. One of the tragic things about life is that it ends. How often do you think about your death? Are you afraid of it? I have a friend who's very, very successful, and he's in his 80s, mid-80s. Mid Donald Trump is in his 80s. <laughs> no, he's not. I think he's late, late 70s. Mm -mm. Donald Trump is in his 80s? Maybe he's 79. Let's check. 78. Okay, 78. fair enough. Yeah, yeah, fair he's enough. 78. He said... A very successful. This is like when a when a guy the same age calls you young man or like mm -hmm. this is young dude. He's killing it. Mm -hmm. This is the old version where he's yeah. seven. He's two years away yeah. and also very successful. This is right. very successful man in his in his eighties. Right, right. <laughs> All right, go ahead and play the rest. And he asked me the exact same question. I said I turned it around. I said, Well, what about you? He said, I think about it every minute of every day. Hmm. And then a week later, he called me to tell me something, and he starts off the conversation by going, tick. Talk, tick, talk. <laughs> yeah. This is a dark. This is a dark person, you know, in a sense. But uh, yes. it is what it is. I mean, you know, if you're religious, you have, I think, a better feeling toward it. You know, you're supposed to go to heaven, ideally not hell, but you're supposed to go to heaven. If you... <laughs> this man said, ideally. <laughs> this man, I did, he's like, I, I did get those felonies, so I, ideally not hell. <laughs> I'm supposed to go to heaven, ideally not hell. Good. He's funny. He's funny. When he's not trying to be. He's not even trying to he's be. He's like yeah. my mother-in-law. Like, she's extremely hilarious, entertaining, and funny when she's not <laughs> trying to be. So he's That's just great. funny being himself. Yeah. Wow. I think our country's missing a lot of religion. I think it really was a much better place with religion. It, it, was, some, it was almost a guide, you know, to a certain extent it was a guide. You want to be good to people. Without religion, there's no real, hmm. there are no guardrails. I'd love to see us get back to religion, more religion in this country. Me too. Well, Mr. Oh. President, thank you for putting yourself out there and thank you for talking today. Yeah. So Trump says you need more religion. Um, I think I think mm, he's, for that. I think he's right, but I think he also understands that he's needs to appeal to the religious crowd. I think the appeal to evangelicals was there, especially early on, with telling people he's going to get the Supreme Court judges elected or Ew. that were gonna be conservative. That led to him being, you know, the guy who gets Roe v. Wade indirectly. Mm -hmm. And now he seems to have shifted his tone on the unborn. Okay, here, here's this clip. Primaries, when I heard about it, I disagreed with that right from the early primaries. When I That's heard so about funny. it, I disagreed with it. At the same time, the Democrats are radical because the nine months is just a ridiculous situation that where you can do an abortion in the ninth month. And, you know, some of the states like Minnesota and other states have it where you could actually exit the baby after birth. And you I mean, I think row, and you want to to be a states' rights issue in Florida, the state that you are a resident of, there's an a related amendment on the ballot to overturn the six-week ban in mm -hmm. Florida. How are you going to vote on that? Well, I think the six week is too short. Uh, it has to be more time, and so that's. And I've told them that I want more weeks. So you'll vote in favor of the amendment? I'm, I'm voting that I am going to be voting that we need more than six weeks. So which, after that, he got a lot of pressure, and then the clip we just saw was him responding with a firm. I will. I'll be voting no on that Florida law. What does that mean? No, no, is in like he doesn't want to. So they were gonna. They were voting this yes or no. Let's uh -huh. repeal. Oh, let's repeal the, the, the six, six week, week ban. ban. 
And he was like, well, I'm I do gonna... feel like it should be longer than six weeks. Mm -hmm. Trump says he'll vote. So did he, so he flip-flop again? I'm so confused on his position. Yep. So basically, okay. So Trump says he'll vote to uphold the Florida ban after seeming to signal he'd support a repeal. So the video we just saw, he's kind of supporting the repeal. Matt Walsh covers it, kind of flames him, says, like, what are you talking about, goober? Just come out and say no. Uh, you're not supporting the repeal. And then this original clip that we saw, um, this clip right here is him officially saying, I'll be voting no. Okay. So now, so he stood on business. He took a, took a W for the pro-lifers. All right. Because he's been kind of uh, in between. Maybe. Okay. I like yeah. it. I like yeah. it. I like it. Props props to him for, for standing, standing 10 toes down. There we go. Baby deletions. All right. Cool. Um, shout out to Lex Friedman for asking him that. Uh, I think he needs to 